Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, playing some more TerraTech. Now, I have been really busy since the last episode. Uh, you can see some new structures in the base, you can see my awesome new tech that is absolutely stacked with guns. I'm also working on several other techs. I wound up keeping the Venture tech from the last episode, even though I'm not a big fan of it. I figured I better keep it around. Uh, I've got a Harvester tech that I've started here, it's actually a little bit damaged, so I need to fix that up. But the main thing that I've been working on have been several buildings to the base. Now, if you recall, my base was a mess. Uh, I used to collect parts before I had the SCU storage. I used to just put all the parts here and it's somewhat still really messy. But I've finally started to sort all these out and over to the right here, let me get over there. Uh, I've got a little bit of a refinery going and some sorting. It's really in the early stages. There's a lot of work that's going to need to be done to it, but I've been listening to you guys and kind of figuring out how I wanted to do this. So you've got some refinery stuff here in the front. I'm going to need to put some more conveyors in the back. Uh, I've got some of those cannons that will sell off some stuff that I don't need. I've got that started behind it. Still sorting everything out though. It's It was an absolute mess. But yeah, the trading station. I, I want to keep this base still really close to this area. I also want to establish another base over in the flat salt. I think it's like the salt flats. But the other thing that I was building, and I finally got them. I've been complaining about not having these little wireless charge bubbles. Well, I've got those, and I've got a little repair garage here. And it's also a charging station for batteries. I'm going to get some more and stack them probably up on the top. But this makes this a lot more convenient. Every time I have to run back to base now, I can just go charge instead of having to swap all these batteries out. So that's really good. Uh, one more thing that you might notice this episode, and if you don't have the game, the UI is different. They recently just did an update. I think they've added some missions, fixed some bugs, and changed the way certain things work. I had, it took me a little bit to get used to the UI. It's not that much different, but it seems to be a little bit more colorful. And the inventory screen, I actually think, moved. So it took me a little bit to figure out where everything was, but I think I'm used to it right now. And I think it's time to go take on some new missions. Alright, it looks like we've actually come up on a fight here. We've got a Geotech and a GSO Tech attacking each other. Now one more thing I should probably notice, the whole fact that my base actually came under attack the other day by a GSO Corp. And that was really odd because I hadn't really thought about base defenses. So that's another thing I need to keep in mind. And okay, the Rammer here, he's he's got no chance. I've absolutely stacked my new tech here with guns. I've got a bunch of the Venture Corp, or I guess they're maybe just Venture guns. I've got some of the big cannons on right now. I've got a couple of the uh, machine, or I think they're called like the AKs. Those are on, and then just the big cannon on top. So it's really a devastating tech. Now I'm trying to gauge the battery life on this thing right now. Uh, I think it's going to last quite a while. I've got quite a few small batteries and I've got one of the big old Geocorp batteries on the back. I don't have those available to buy, so I have to sit here and find them out in the field. Which is, it kind of stinks. I, I really need to get up in Geocorp grade. It's a little grindy, so it takes a long time to do that. I mean, there's just so many different opportunities in the game and you just kind of have to decide which path you want to go in. Well, let's go ahead and collect all this stuff with this SCU storage and then I need to find some more missions. I think we're actually close to our other outpost out here too. So I'm going to go check on that and make sure it's doing good. And we got quite an inventory of these parts right now and that's definitely going to help make it where we can establish other bases. Okay, I'm checking in on another one of my bases. This is called the Pop Base. This is a little sorting facility. I could sell stuff here. Now, one thing that I need to go get is another pay terminal. I need to actually carry a couple of them because I need to deliver them to my outpost. I've got this outpost and I've got one in the salt flats that both really need one of those. That way I can go out there and establish those and make some of those charging stations and probably even build a couple more refineries. Now another thing I'm waiting on, I really need to get the AI cabs or I think they're cabs. There's something where you can control other techs. You can have them like follow you around because that would make harvesting and collecting resources much easier. Uh, but it's just one of those things that you just have to unlock. And I still got quite cool a ways to go. But I'm still just having a blast with the techs that I have. I mean, this game is absolutely fun. 
and I'm really glad you guys have suggested this because this is a this is kind of like a break in between my scrap mechanic build and all that. So this is also really really fun to play. But I think I'm gonna go back to base real quick and then uh, grab that a couple pay terminals and then we're gonna go out and we'll start taking on some bigger missions here. See, this is what I was talking about earlier. I have these GSO techs that have been landing near my base, and actually a couple of them have been invading it. Now, I do have quite a few guns stacked up on the garage. I need to work on other base defenses and maybe maybe even build a wall. The one disadvantage I have is the whole fact that my base is on a really odd level of terrain. Like, this would be so much easier if I was on the salt flats, but I wanted to build my first base near the uh, first big terminal, so I needed to keep it there, but... I'm somewhat regretting my decision, and what in the heck are those? I need those guns. Those look like Venture guns. Oh, this is a Venture tech. This looks like a GSO tech at first. Let me go ahead and take him out, and I'm going to need to collect these, because those things are just absolute rapid-fire guns. Uh, let's see. Come on, where are you at? Porcupine top. Okay. Come on. Man, my, uh, the amount of firepower I have on this thing is absolutely unstoppable. This is awesome. There we go. Okay, let's set down our SCU storage real quick, and we're going to collect. Come on, buddy. You need to anchor down. Anchor down. I don't like an anchor right here. Let's try to let's try to see if we can find a little bit more level area. There we go. Now, I need to see. He dropped most of his guns up here. I need to see what these are, because these things were absolutely amazing. Uh, see, it's a Venture Corp gun. It's probably something I definitely do not have unlocked, so... Let's go ahead and stack a couple up here and test them out. We'll put the rest in storage. Let me chunk them down the uh, hill. That's the one really cool thing about the game is the whole fact you can just move these parts. So uh, my storage is active down there. So we'll just kind of chunk these down. Uh, are they in range? No, they're not. Come on, bigger chunk. There we go. They're starting to roll downhill. Probably should just stick it on this side. There's a lot to collect here. See, they're getting a lot more aggressive. And what is that? Is that a Ooze SMG? Is that what it says? Or Uzi? It's a Uzi. Okay. I read that wrong. Let's see. Let's go ahead and stack that up on the back here. Yeah, I want a couple of those protecting my rear. That's a that's a really cool gun. I also went back and collected the payload terminals, so I'll be ready to deliver those to our other outpost. Because I really need to collect those. Yeah, I'm going to have to go get that storage and just stick it on this side of the hill because there's just too much stuff to chunk over here. There is a tech setting right on my outpost up there. I'm kind of trying to figure out what he's doing, and he's really near all those batteries. There he goes, he's attacking it. No! No! Don't do that! Bad tech! Oh, no! I can't move fast enough to get to him. Come on, I need to get him aggroed on me because he's absolutely tearing into my base. Come here, Hulk! Over here! Over here! I need to get around. I don't want to damage my own base here. Here we go. There you go. Stay away from this. Yeah, he almost destroyed my big... I have one of those Geocorp things over here. Yeah, I got one of those Geocorp batteries. He almost destroyed that. Okay, let's set down our SCU storage here, and we need to really equip our base with some sort of defense here. And if this thing would eventually anchor to the ground, I'd be really happy. There we go. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to put a couple wireless terminals here. I think I might already... No, I don't have one on there right now. Let's go ahead and let this storage take care of that. I've got the little payload terminals right here, so I need to put one on this base. Now, yeah, this was a pre-existing base that uh, I took over, I believe, last episode. So let's go ahead and collect that, get all this stuff away from me. And then we might need to build some sort of wall around this. Now, I believe the salt flats are, yeah, they're right over to the right here. If I ever establish another outpost, which I think I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to put it out over there. But uh, for the time being, I've got my inventory open. Let's go ahead and open it up and let's see what blocks we have. We have a lot of Geocorp blocks. I've seen people build walls out of those, but it seems like since we're on a hill here, we're going to go with the two blocks. And I'm going to build a little bit of a uh, part that comes out on this outpost. And this will be where our charging tower is. And then I'm going to line it up with the guns because this thing is going to have to be able to defend itself maybe. And then yeah, then I think I'm going to put a couple uh, shield generators there too. So let's go ahead and stack some stuff here. Alright, I believe this outpost is in pretty good shape. I've got quite a few batteries on there, some solar panels. I've got actual base defenses now. 
I'm using those Venture Uzis on the top here, and then I've got those cannons stacked up, and I've got my charging tower. So now we won't have to travel back to the, our main base as much. I'm going to actually play around in the salt flats, and then maybe we'll establish something out here because I really need to expand my reach. So let's go ahead and wander off here. I've got a couple GSO techs that are already really close. Uh, they're kind of down here, and I don't think I've ever seen any like that. That's a really flat one, and he looks to be stacked with guns. So I'm going to go playing around in here. And I remember last episode, there was tons of stuff down here in the salt flats. So let's uh, see what kind of trouble we can get into here. I believe that's a tech. Is he... Where is he at? Oh, okay. How is he moving? Oh, he's just a long tech. I thought he was, like, wide, and he was just going to go forward, but he's actually just really long. I'm trying to see what kind of parts he has on him. I don't think it's nothing out of the uh, ordinary, so let's go ahead and destroy him. Kind of watch our backs, and is that another base, or maybe it's just another gang, I believe it is. Yeah. Uh, what does he got over here? You know, I'm going to save these parts. I can come back and collect these. I need to take care of this gang, because it seems like they're getting really aggressive here. So I need to figure out exactly how I need to go about expanding out in this area and protecting it, because it's going to be definitely hard to do. So let's go ahead and take these out. All right, these, I, I'm seeing a lot more, like, I guess, player names, because that's like the real redneck. Uh, man, this is, this is getting kind of weird here. So let's go ahead and destroy these. And, oh, it seems like we have some sort of enemy waves. What are those? I guess that's going to be what we're on right now. So, we're going to be prepared for a fight here. I think I can take them on. We've got plenty of charge left, so we're good there. Where'd they go? Oh, come on. Man, those uh, Uzis are just tearing into them. Those things, I think, have a 360 degree turning radius. Yeah, they do. That's really good. I think most of my guns have that now. I think the only ones... There's not many that don't have that, but these seem like they're just really effective. Oh, come on, keep tearing into them. I've got to prepare for the next wave. I'm not really sure where they're going to show up here. Destroy them. There we go. You know, it's going to be funny if these are real player names. If one day somebody's watching one of my videos and I actually destroy them, that's that'd be really cool. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Oh, we took that one out real quick. Yeah, I wonder how effective those Venture guns that I have stacked on the front, those seem like pretty good guns. Uh, especially if you can get some direct hits, you can take somebody out real quick. And This is an absolute, just devastated battlefield here. There's so much crap everywhere. Come on. Right, here we go. Got a couple more here. Destroy them all. Where are you at? There you are. Yeah, I've got, I've got plenty of guns stacked like on my back and my front here, so we should be in pretty good shape. There we go. Let's go ahead and back off into him, and boom. We now have a buffet of GSO parts out here, so cleared that mission out. Let's go ahead and maybe stick this right here. I think this will collect most of it. Probably going to have to move it a couple more times. Uh, one thing I'm kind of wondering, that GSO or the SCU storage, if we lose that, is there a way to get one back? Like, I'm pretty sure that's a destroyable part, so I'm a little afraid about carrying that thing around with me sometimes. I know a lot of people say, hey, you need to carry that around. That way you can just collect all the parts real easy, but uh, it kind of scares me sometimes. But I'm going to let it do its thing over there. I think it's safe. I'm going to go ahead and take out these techs over here. And these two are just spinning around. Are they fighting? I guess they are. I just I don't know if they're fighting or dancing. <laughs> that's, uh, that's great. Let's go ahead and take these out. I really, I'm going to start collecting more resources. Where are you guys going? Oh, Y'all better not be, okay, I thought they were going to go after my little SEU storage area. It's like they were just going to race over to it. Come on. There we go. Come on, Trippy and the Engineer. Let's destroy you. I probably need to stick some other weapons on here, like some weapons I can ram with. I had the uh, one tech that had those, I think they were like plasma cutters. Those were actually really cool when you could run into those big techs and just tear through them. Come on. Come on. Come on, Trippy. There we go. Trippy's down, and the engineer's almost down. We are just clearing them out here today. You can see my storage over there. It's still doing work. Might have to move it again, because it doesn't seem like it's collecting all the parts. Come on, the engineer. Let's take you out. And boom. Where's the cab? It's getting harder and harder just to aim for the cab, because all the guns, so... Kind of have to deal with whatever I've got here. Now, there's another big group, I think, of Geo... Yeah, there's some Geotechs way out there. 
I'll probably swing back around. I need to go move my SCU storage real quick because it's cleaned out a nice little area here, but I need to clean it out to the right and probably to the left here. So I'm trying to figure out, you know, this would be a great place to establish a base, but I don't know really else what you can do here. There's not many resources, but I think still I'm going to establish a huge base out here. I'm doing a lot of collecting and I'm doing a lot of this while I'm not recording too. So I'm going to have a big backlog of parts here and... Oh, here's an enemy gang. Let's go ahead and take them out. A bunch of Geocorps. Doesn't look like they have many guns. Uh, they do have some pretty nasty, well, at least the one on the right has some nasty plasma cutters. So I'm going to step back from him, but I'm just raining from above. That looks ridiculous. That is absolutely awesome. So let's go ahead and take them out real quick. Clear out some more of these uh, missions here in this area. And definitely we're starting to, oh, we're getting the stress signal from a tech nearby. Let's go ahead and check that out. That's gonna be, that's interesting. I don't think I've uh, run into a actual mission in a while. Oh yeah, it looks like we're coming up on him right here. He's a stranded tech. Does that mean he can't find his, oh no, he's got enemies coming down. I can see the little red circles there. Oh boy, I need to get to him really quick. This is the one bad thing about my tech. It's kind of slow. Uh, well, he actually doesn't seem like he's getting attacked here. Oh, he's about to. Come on. Oh, of course. It's called Scaredy Cat. That makes a lot of sense. Poor little thing. She seems too scared to move. It's actually shaking. Oh, that's great. Oh, you know, this is probably unlocking the ability to give orders. I thought that was like an AI cab, or maybe that's what that is. Come on, Scaredy Tech. Let's go ahead. I think I need to click on to him, and I guess I can have you follow me. Is that what we're doing here? Oh, there we go. Oh, that is awesome. You know, I really wish I just had those unlocked uh, right now because I would have, I don't know how many you can have follow you at once, but I'd have at least one big harvester following me and he'd probably actually be carrying the SEU storage. But yeah, let's go escort Scaredy Cat back. That's a, a really convenient name. We need to go escort it back or is that, is the mission complete? Do I need to do anything with him? Maybe it's just telling me what I need to, or at least how to do that. That's probably just another tutorial mission. I'm going to take it back to the outpost, though. I think I can leave it around there. And I mean, it's not a big tech at all, but I actually kind of want to... Oh, no, I, I hope I'm not hitting you. Oh. <laughs> I'm watching those guns shoot backwards. I'm like, I am hope I'm... I really hope I'm not killing my own tech here. There we go. They're aggroed on the one here in front. Boom. Oh, look, Scaredy Cat's actually fighting. Okay. Oh, don't kill Scaredy Cat. You know, I almost kind of want to rip Scaredy Cat up right now and just take its cab away. Hey, Scaredy Cat, let me, uh, can I swap to you? I can't switch to that. Oh, yeah, because it's an AI block. Can I just pop? <laughs> that feels kind of wrong. Um, You know what? We're going to put that in storage, so let's go ahead and suck that up. I think it will. It, I don't know. It's kind of registering as a uh, another tech here, but it didn't tell me anything to do after I rescued it and said you need to follow me. It didn't say anything else, so let's go ahead and collect those parts real quick. At least I think it's going to. It's funny because it's still shaking. That's a uh, great. You know, I actually might have to go stick this on the outpost. You can't, you won't take this, will you? Oh yeah, well, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and just rip this apart. Come on, scaredy cat. Let's go back in here. So now scaredy cat's in a bunch of little parts, but I really, I'm really happy to have that cab, and I really can go put it on a harvester, even though I don't have any other of those cabs. Hopefully I can find some more, and what is going on over there? Over there to the right, there's some really big techs. That looks like something we need to get into, so let's do that. It looks like we have a pretty active war zone in here. I think that might be another gang up there in front of us, and a Geocorp just landed here to the right, so let's go ahead and take all of these out and really just continue to build our collection of parts because I want to do something big and I think what I'm going to do is it's going to be out here in the salt flats. I might establish it here in a second. Let's get a little outpost started. No, it's going to be a little close to my outpost that I have to the left, but you know, I think from what I've seen, everybody establishes big factories out here in this flat area because it's so much easier to do it because you don't have to deal with the terrain. So. Let's go ahead and take out, and this is a pretty mean looking gang here. These are really, really wide Geocorp techs. There's a lot of valuable parts on there too, so they look fairly light on guns, so I don't think they're going to be too big of a challenge. I don't know. Let's see what happens here. 
I really wish I can get some of those really big uh, wheels that the Geocorp has, but I think you need grade three on those, and I still got a ways to go, so let's go ahead and take out this gang here. Actually, I'm destroying a lot of these parts. I need to kind of lead this one away real quick. But he's got quite a bit of firepower, and I just noticed my... I think those Uzi guns are a little exposed. They're not quite in a shield bubble, so need to get those closer, and come on. Boom! There we go. You know what? I think I can lay this down right here, have it start to collect, and let's go ahead and take out Yellow Frog here. Uh, Yellow Frog doesn't look bad at all. It's cabs exposed here on the front, so it should be a pretty quick explosion, and oh, look at those wheels. Those wheels. Wow. You know what? Hmm, those actually might be a little... I can probably stick those. Let's go ahead and try these on real quick. There we go, and let's grab this one over here. So let's throw that one off. Boom, look at that. Oh, that is awesome. Those are really good. It still looks like I'm overloading quite a bit, but I can already feel it in the back. It feels like uh, it's a little bit more maneuverable. And, oh, how did that get there? There we go. Let's try this out. Seems like everything's good. I know these little wheels here in the front are kind of small, but uh, they seem to be doing pretty good, but I know that you can stick the guns on them, so that's why I have that stacked, and that is a mean-looking tech. That is awesome. All right, this might be the final challenge. There is something huge going on. I think it's another gang, but these Geocorp gangs are getting bigger and bigger. Uh, it's really cool to see, because it's going to give me a little bit more of a challenge, because right now I believe my tech's a little OP, uh, that's, I'm not really complaining, but you know, it just seems like there's not they're not putting up as much of a fight here. Now, these little GSO techs are kind of annoying because they move around a lot. Let's go ahead and destroy him, and boom, there we go. All right, let's take these on. We'll collect all the parts, and then we'll head back to our outpost, and... Oh, wow, really? The game's just going to tempt me, isn't it? Uh, we're pretty good on batteries. You know what? We've got a little bit of cleaning that we're going to need to do here, so... Let's go ahead and take out the gang here. And is this even a gang? Yeah, it is. All right, let's take them out. Ooh, that one in the middle is pretty mean looking. He's got a lot of guns on him. This is going to be fun. There we go. Let's get the driller out of the way, or Crabster V2. He's gone. Now, those guns on that one Geocorp, they look like they're stationary guns, so he's going to have a hard time hitting me from an angle. So let's take him out real quick. Let's go ahead and highlight this mission. There we go. Yeah, this is easy, easy. This is going to be easy money here. I'll take Paul out here in a second. I'm about to throw down this storage. Let's go ahead and get that taken out. We're so close. Oh, I wouldn't say that close, but we're really close to getting that Geocorp uh, grade up. And that's going to be really good because we're going to be able to have access to these big batteries and some really good parts. So, got those destroyed. Let's go ahead and collect here. Probably need to move it over. I'm going to move that over just a little bit here. And then I'm going to take on one more mission, something, I think, a base spawn to my left here. There's something over there, and that might be the perfect point out here in the salt flats to create another base. So, all right, here we go. Let's go ahead and take this base out. There's a lot of techs up here, and they're really fast. Uh, they're small techs. I should be able to take them on. They're going to be a little bit of a pain once they start circling me. And actually, that Geocorp tech is really good that he just spawned there. Because he's got a couple of the GSOs aggroed on him, so... I should be able to pick them apart one at a time here. Let's go ahead and take that one out and... Mr. Sir, stop. Is the base itself moving? That's kind of weird. Let's go ahead and light this up real quick. Uh, we're on our grade 3 of the GSO, so we're not really close to getting a new grade there. I need to try to disassemble this. Let's go ahead and take out the Guardians real quick. I really don't want to destroy that base. That's actually got a Venture cab on it. It's really weird. It's like a Frankenstein base. It looks really bad. Let's go ahead and take care of this guy here. Come on. Don't resist. There's so many guns. There we go. And the cab is taken out. I'm trying to make sure they're not destroying the base over there. There we go. Let's go ahead and circle around here. I need to get out here and harvest. Uh, I have that AI cab now, so that's going to be fun once I get that put together. Let's go ahead and take out, I think this is the last guardian here, and then uh, we'll take out the yellow truck because he's just he's just kind of here for fun. So let's take that one out. There goes the yellow truck right there. Boom. Guardians are taken care of here. 
But yeah, this looks like the perfect place for a little outpost. So, you know what? We got a pay terminal off that. We're going to stick that there. Let's go ahead and stick our SCU storage down. We'll start collecting parts here. It's a really wide open area. Now, we still have the other outpost. I believe it might be up over on that hill somewhere. Maybe it's back there. So, it's going to be fairly close. I really don't want to group bases up this close. But I think once I get everything taken care of here... and. Okay, I was making sure it wasn't going to suck the base up. Still trying to grab something there. There you go. But yeah, I'll build a wall. I've got plenty of parts now. So let me know what you guys want to see here. I think we're going to build a refinery base. Uh, or at least I have another one here. A couple big conveyors. It's really hard for me to do that over in the, uh, the main or the original base. I think this is going to become the main base. It's really hard for me to do that over there. Just how limited the space is. But I think over here I can really build something massive. So we'll do that. I really need to get up in Geo Grade, so I might do that in between episodes, do a little bit of grinding, and then we'll start to establish a base. If you've got any suggestions, comment below. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll play some more Terra Tech soon. I'm going to probably play some Scrap Mechanic. I've been working on that Galleon. Uh, you guys have been really enjoying that, so we're going to work on that. Should see that within the next day. Should have that finished. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the episode, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you.